My little Grogu. I mean, it's sad, but I'll be honest. If he came looking for me, I'd probably go with him too. What is up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have a lot to talk about with this finale of The Mandalorian Season 2. They pulled out all the stops, man. And, uh, you know, even though prior to the moment it wasn't necessarily my favorite episode of the season, I still thoroughly enjoyed myself. There's just been a lot of really good content from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. That moment, which will be... The third and final moment in this video is one that I just can't wait to talk about. And I was so psyched out of my mind to talk about. Now, if you guys would like to see more Mandalorian related videos, let me know. Leave your thoughts and thumbs up down below. And if you enjoy this episode, I'd love to hear your spoiler filled thoughts today. Top three moments of the episode. Let's get started with number three. And number three, we have the crew, the gang back together from Cara Dune to Bo Katan, of course, Boba Fett. I mean, pretty much. Everyone we've been gathering along the way throughout the season, they come together and we are infiltrating this base to seek out Moff Gideon, retrieve Grogu, and save the day. And we all kind of assumed that Bo-Katan would be back for this episode, but her passion towards the Darksaber and toward Moff Gideon in general is something that I think made this episode work even more so than it already was going to. And when we get that confrontation after a surprise battle with the Mandalorian, which we will talk about. It was so nice to see some of those remnants, the things that carry over from Clone Wars into the Mandalorian, uh, showcase themselves once again. And I thought the inclusion of all of these characters, I thought it worked extremely well. And going up against all of these Dark Troopers, uh, you need as many people as you can get. So it was nice to have them, well, I say Boba Fett, but he just kind of flew off. He served his purpose. And my number two moment is that moment between Mando when he finally sees Grogu for the first time. Uh, but then, surprisingly, well, not really, he takes on Moff Gideon. It looks like everything's going to be fine, all clear. And as we know, Moff Gideon, you can't really trust a word that guy says, uh, turns around, strikes him with the Darksaber, and thus we have a very interesting battle. A battle that the Mandalorian actually ended up winning uh, a bit easier than maybe I expected, but it was still an entertaining battle. I thought Peyton Reed did a few things right in this episode, but that battle in particular worked extremely well. I thought it was very well shot. The music behind it from Ludwig Gorenson, uh, as always, adds so much in terms of emotion and to see the Darksaber in action, to hear those sound effects, uh, it just looked spectacular. I loved seeing it. And in terms of being a threat, while, again, the battle ended a bit quicker than I thought it would, Moff Gideon is very much a threatening individual. Part of me was scared at the end of the episode. I'm like, please don't kill him off. We needed much more from him this season. It looks like we're now going to get that. Uh, stopped him last second car dude did from uh, kind of shooting himself in the face. But hey, that's character. I don't want him going anywhere because we're going to need so much more from him. Uh, but again, that battle is what makes it to my number two moment. And number one is, of course, I'm trying to find anything just to throw in here as a joke. You guys know exactly what I'm going to say. You know exactly what I'm going to say. We got Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and the second you see that green lightsaber, first off, they say X-Wing. And I'm like, oh, it, no. They're not going to do this. I've seen people tweeting. I've seen rumors. <laughs> John Favreau and Dave Filoni. They're not going to do this to us. And then everyone turns around. They're watching the security cams. These dark troopers, you know, very threatening. Yeah, they were nothing. They were nothing compared to what Luke Skywalker had to offer them. As soon as we see that lightsaber, we know exactly who it is. Got a glimpse of the glove, the hand. They're doing it. They're bringing Luke Skywalker to life. I just, I couldn't believe it. My eyes, I, was, I didn't believe what I was seeing. And he just goes completely ham all through the ship, taking down the dark troopers. It was nothing. It was nothing for Skywalker. He just destroyed everything in his path, making it all the way to our heroes, and then retrieving old Grogu here, providing for an extremely, as Grogu falls, an extremely emotional moment between he and Mando. An unexpected moment. I had no clue that Grogu was going to be leaving us. Now, I have a feeling we're going to eventually see more of him, 
but it looks like they're going to focus more so on Mando's journey next season. Now, maybe we cut back to what Grogu's going through with Luke Skywalker and get to see a little bit of that training, but I have a feeling we're not going to see all that much. I have a feeling they're going to focus on Mando, but that moment, man, that moment, first of all, again, if Luke Skywalker came to get me, I'd be like, all right, see it. But still, having to leave Mando was exquisitely done by Peyton Reed. And I was a little worried that this episode was in the hands of Peyton Reed. Not that I think he's a bad director, uh, but you need to be perfect in your execution. And while I do believe uh, at the beginning of the episode, I was thinking to myself, well, it's not as epic as I thought it would be. All of my fears were immediately alleviated when we saw Luke Skywalker appear on that ship. Now, I will say just very quickly that there's a part of me that was thinking maybe they would get Sebastian Stan. They used the technology that they've used in some of the other films to make Luke Skywalker look like a young Mark Hamill. And if you really focus on it in that moment, it doesn't look perfect, but I think it looks good enough to serve its purpose and that scene, combined with that moment, combined with seeing his face, I think all of it worked as intended. And then R2-D2 comes in, and you're just living the nostalgic Star Wars dream that you never thought you'd be living in this episode. So the episode ends, and it was absolutely spectacular. Now, that's not all, right? I gave you three moments. Well, there is a moment after the episode, so technically it doesn't count, teasing the future of a certain character in Boba Fett. We're going to talk about that maybe in a separate video if that's something that you guys would like, but stay tuned. Do not miss that post credit scene because I thought that was just as cool as some of the other moments, but again, the standout, the highlight scene here is getting to see Luke Skywalker, and I thought he just made this finale uh, oh so much better, and at that point, I was just blown away like I think most of you all will be. So, Spoil away. Thoughts down below. How did you feel about that moment with Luke Skywalker just just coming out of the <laughs> just coming out of the smoke, man? I couldn't believe it. Oh, I freaked out. I freaked out. Also, another good question. Where do certain characters go from here? A character like Bo-Katan. Now, we know that a lot of these shows that were announced recently are going to feature them, and someone like Ahsoka, well, she's getting her own spin-off show. But some of these other characters that, you know, made an impact in this season and made an impact for this season, may not even return for future seasons. I would love to know your thoughts on that below as well. And is Moff Gideon still the main villain, or are we going to shift the story entirely? Because we know that we may not have him, we may not have Grogu, but I have a feeling Moff Gideon, his presence will still be felt. I just want to explore him a bit more. And I can't wait for season three, uh, confirmed for next Christmas. Oh man, it's going to be a long way. Again, if you guys would like more Mandalorian videos, let me know. Uh, let me know all of your thoughts, comments, and freakouts down below. I'll see you guys very soon.